What is up you guys? Tana Ashley here and today I'm gonna take you through what I got at the grocery store. As many of you know, I was doing the keto diet and it was not for me, at least this time around. I have done it before um, in the past, but only for about three weeks. And this time I only lasted a week. And then I had to go back to a balanced diet because that's what works best for my body and my schedule has been so busy. So in order for me to actually keep my mental good, my body good, I had to go back to a balanced diet. So there it is. I only lasted a week. So bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, so as far as the grocery store, I got me some almond milk for my protein shakes. A lot of times at night, I kind of get a sweet tooth and I'm like, okay, I need chocolate or something of that sort. So a lot of times I'll go ahead, I'll do a scoop of chocolate protein powder, some almond milk with some peanut butter, um, sometimes a few berries in there if I'm feeling a little crazy. <laughs> and it truly does help with that craving. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, that sounds so boring. But you know what? Give it a try, it really does help and it's a lot healthier for you, so yeah. Um, I also got some sweet potatoes. I like these because they're all cut up and I can actually make hash brown with my eggs for breakfast time. Then I'm gonna top it with a little bit of avocado um, and cheese, of course, just a little bit of cheese. And usually what I do for breakfast, if I'm doing like two or three eggs um, with avocado, um, I either do a, a, blah, blah, a cup of sweet potatoes or I do a fruit smoothie. So I got an orange and a grapefruit for my smoothies this week and I usually use frozen berries um, which usually have blueberry, raspberry, blackberry, cherry, and pomegranate in it. And then I just throw some of this in there to sweeten it up and blend it up. Also, as far as juices, I got these two just for on the go when I have my really crazy days. If I'm booked with meetings, I could go in the fridge, grab that, and I got my veggies right here, which is amazing for those busy days, obviously. And then for dinner, ground turkey <laughs> um right now i've been obsessed with just ground turkey um you know I, I was cutting out meat for a bit and there are some weeks where i do absolutely no meat there are some weeks where i have ground turkey um and as far as meat that's kind of all i really eat unless it's a cheat day i might go for a cheeseburger but i try not to because i love cows they're really cute so ground turkey it is um, and for a side of that tonight I'm gonna do buffalo cauliflower absolutely amazing and with the ground turkey I will probably do uh, buffalo um, meatballs so lots of buffalo stuff right there and for a snack I decided to do green beans um, and I'm also gonna be giving some to my dogs because it's a great snack for them and because I love my dogs. <laughs> but that's all I got for this week. This is gonna last me probably three days. Um, I like to go to the store every three to four days and restock because my cravings, there's some things that I need to change during the week if I'm not feeling great with what I got. Um, you know, I know that Every week, I always crave buffalo cauliflower and usually some ground turkey, so that'll be good for now. Um, but yeah, it's really that simple. I think a lot of people will overcomplicate their diet. They're so focused on the little things, like, oh my God, I can't use this ketchup, or I can't use this buffalo sauce, and it's like, dude, if it's just high in sodium and you don't have any health issues, who gives a shit? Drink more water. Yes, you might retain a little bit more water the next day after eating uh, something with more sodium or something of that sort, but just flush it out with water. It's not that hard, but a lot of people, once again, we just overthink things. <laughs> so don't complicate it. Make it simple for yourself so that way you're not overwhelmed, you're not stressed out. This should be an amazing, easy process. 
keep a food journal where you can really figure out what foods are benefiting your body and which ones aren't. And if you need any guidance, holla at your girl. I hope this video is helpful for you. Stay happy, stay healthy.